You see, I've got my glasses on. That means I'm going to need to read. There may be one or two of you somewhere along the way. I don't have time to read all your comment comments. There may be one or two of you along the way who get upset when I talk about my grandma being a whore. Uh, 310 to Yuma. Even bad men love their mama. Yeah. But look, this is something that used to happen a lot in my grandma's little community. She would have these things. Ah, 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 look at this. Look at this. People would Xerox things before the internet was making it possible for them to hate everybody just right to their face. <sighs> Going through things in here, and you must understand there's a reason why I don't just throw things out. Everything means something. You may say, just throw it out. But what have you been doing? Living the same life for 40 years and you haven't seen anything different. I'm a different kind of person. I have seen the things that people hate and found that they're not so hateful after all. Why can't we all just get along? Ooh, look at this. Look at this. I found this paper. One of these little things that my grandma, when I would go to visit her in her home, she'd be, ah, 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 there's a handsome young man. I'm like, you don't have any idea who I am, except I know that she does because there's nobody else in our family that's as handsome as me. So she must have it right. And she give me these things. Look at this. Ah, I'm going to read this. This could probably take five to seven minutes to get through. But I have to do this. I just have to do this. So all you megalomaniacs who love my grandma... Well, this is what you get. This is why you are. This is the difference between you and me. You didn't know my grandma enough to know what a goddamn bigoted, racist, polygamist. Why don't I want to say bitch? It's almost like she's looking at me. I'm going to read this. Watch this. She gave me this thing. She would always have these funny little statements, these papers, Xerox copies. She said, look at this. And I'm like, ah, you're horrible, Grandma. There's a handsome young man. That's my impression of my grandma. You cannot question it because she's been dead for so long. But that's the way it sounded to me every time. And she's got this thing. I'm going to read it. It'll take five to seven minutes. I'm going to try to get through it really quick. But I know there are things that are going to make me hiccup. There are things that are going to make me catch on to what a twisted, just... I said it all about her already. If you were born... Be 1945 you are survivors that's the title and this is consider the changes we have witnessed we were born before television before penicillin before polio shots before frozen foods before xerox before plastics before contact lenses before frisbees and before the pill 
So what it amounts to, I suppose, is that she thinks surviving means not progressing. Survival, in her mind, it seems to me, is um, keeping everything just like it is and forgetting about how much other people suffer because you like the way it goes. We were born before radar, credit cards, split atoms, laser beams, and ballpoint pens, before pantyhose, dishwashers, clothes, and before men walked on the moon. Oh, that's a terrible thing to do. You shouldn't be out walking around out there where your wife is left alone. Otherwise, you might get a, a better genetic makeup after old Jack comes down the street and bangs your whorish grandma. Yeah, she's the one saying this. She's happy about all this. We got married first and then lived together. Yeah. Got married first and then banged the guy down the street. How quaint can you be in our time Closets were for clothes, not for coming out of. She's angry about that. Ah, bunnies were small rabbits. I don't know what the fuck that means. And rabbits were not Volkswagens. Oh, oh, see that right there. She says rabbits were not Volkswagens. Volkswagens came from Hitler in Germany. And, and so... Um, She's actually saying, don't be a goddamn fascist scum pig. That's what she's saying. I, I see that. It's, it's right here. It's written down. Designer jeans were scheming girls named Jean or Jean and have a meaningful relationship meant getting along with our cousins. Out there in Johannesburg, the cousins loved the cousins. We thought fast food was what we ate during Lent. She wasn't religious. The priest didn't even know her. McCracken didn't know her at her funeral. He said, I've heard great stories about... He just made shit up. And when I went up to him, I said, nice fucking service and and that wasn't the last time we met I, I saw him in the hospital and outer space was the back of the Riviera theater see that's my sister got pissed off because they said yeah grandma was fucking old Jack down the street she's like she, that wasn't who, he, she got pregnant from a man in the parking lot, a, a, a guy that she knew at the place she worked. And I said, oh yeah, so she banged some stranger in the parking lot? She's the one that told me at the funeral that old Jack was our grandpa. And now she's changing it. And I said, oh, so she's banging a guy in the parking lot. At standard products, that makes it better. And she got mad, and that was the end of everything. Victoria witnessed it. She's like, holy crap. That was the quickest I've ever seen her shut up in her life. Yeah, you change your stories. Hey, well, that's what they do. Make it for what you want. And look, see, um, there's still a lot left. I lied. It's probably going to be 12 to 15 minutes. Um, ah. <laughs> we thought fast food was we what we ate during Lent and outer space was the back of the Riviera Theater standard products parking lot. We were before house husbands, gay rights, Computer. I hope nobody's 
thinking that this is my concept. This is making America great again in the concept of what I get from fucking maniacs that have been around me. And then I've kept, I kept it. I kept it. And I found it again. We were before house husbands, gay rights, computer dating, dual careers and commuter marriages before daycare centers, group therapy and nursing homes. We never heard of FM radio, tape decks, electric typewriters, artificial hearts, word processors, yogurts, and guys wearing earrings. Well, yeah, you were living, I guess, in the space age. Space out, baby. With your fucking mental ineptitude. For us, timesharing meant togetherness, not condominiums. And a chip was a piece of wood. Hardware meant hardware and software wasn't even a word. In 1940, made in Japan meant junk. And the, the phrase making... And, and you know what? I'm sure it wasn't in 1940 when they said made in Japan meant junk because it was when I was growing up in the, in the early 70s that I would hear my grandpa talk about Japan and things like that. But we know, we know that after having dropped a couple of nuclear bombs on Japan, that I think it was MacArthur gave them, the Japanese, a, a new constitution said they could write their own constitution, but if we didn't like it, we'd write one for them. And he wrote one that said, no emperor. I, I, I'm not saying he did it, but he, he gave it to them. No emperor anymore. Emperor is not God. And no teachers. They screwed with the way they taught their children even. And so, yeah. It wasn't 1940, it was after World War II this happened. This dumb cunt that I was born of, what do you expect of me? 1940, made in Japan meant junk and the phrase making out referred to how you made out in your exams. Exams. She was getting raped in the woods. She doesn't know what exams are. Pizza, McDonald's, and instant coffee were unheard of. Isn't that a better world? We hit the scene when there were five and ten cent stores where you actually bought things for five and ten cents, exclamation part. Uh, an ice cream cone was a nickel or a dime. For a nickel, you could ride a streetcar, make a phone call. There were no streetcars. You were the streetcar in Johannesburg. Grandma, uh, for a nickel, you could ride a streetcar, make a phone call, buy a pack of chewing gum, buy a Coke or enough stamps to mail one letter and two postcards. You could buy a new Chevy Coupe for $600. Well, I wonder what, what you know, minimum wage was at the time. There wasn't one. I hear the talk of my father. I was like, it just, you know, third, uh, $1,300 a year or something. I don't know. Don't get me started. I'd have to go back on it. 
I'm talking about my grandma right now, not my dad. You could buy a new Chevy Coupe for $600, but who could afford one? There. Thanks, Grandma. A pity, too, because gas was only 11 cents a gallon. In our day, cigarette smoking was fashionable, grass was mowed, coke was a cold drink, and pot was something you cooked in. Rock music was grandma's lullaby, and aides were helpers in the principal's office. We are certainly not before the difference between the sexes was discovered, but we were surely before the sex change. We made do with what we had. Yeah, she would have like to have been a man, wouldn't have been anything to take advantage of outside of prison unless you were in Johannesburg, Michigan, out in the woods. And we were the last generation that was so dumb as to think you needed a husband to have a baby. Wow, she proved it. She might be getting closer to the truth in here. No wonder we are so confused and there is such a generation gap today, but we survived. What better reason to celebrate? I, I don't know what the hell this is about. This is all comes down. But there's a final joke at the end. It says, an Englishman was looking for a subway in the Bronx. He turned to a little old lady and asked, I say, how does one get underground? She replied, drop dead. There are hundreds of languages in the world, but a smile says the same thing in all of them. You want to wonder why people are so fucked up right now? It's because it is difficult even for a relative to understand what their own grandma is talking about.